Okay, guys, this is going to be an extension of my Burgosaurus Lex series, um, where I felt like it was only right that we start to review some of these uh, breakfast items as well, uh, rather than jumping into doing, you know, another McDonald's uh, big commercial guy um, review. I thought I would do smaller venues, local venues um, around here in Sydney that perhaps maybe deserve a little bit more attention compared to some of the bigger guys. So let's jump in. All right, so as I said in the beginning of the video, uh, I'm gonna be jumping in to review some uh, breakfast items, um, namely breakfast burgers, breakfast rolls, things like that. Um, and the first venue that I'm gonna be reviewing is the butter shack otherwise aka known as the smoky shack i wonder if that was a former name for the business i'm not sure if this is your business let me know so i can uh you know make sure i correct this stuff um if you yeah if you want me to obviously i'm happy to help the whole point in doing this is to promote you guys and um also sort of you know give people in the community a better sense of where to get you know great food from I'm around Sydney uh, and potentially I'm going to expand that as we grow. So, Buttershack, you're up. What I'm really looking for here is consistency um, in terms of the quality of the bread that they're using. I'm looking at, you know, how are the eggs cooked? I'm looking at the, the bacon. And then the last one I'm looking at is what is the flavor here? Uh, and does it really pack a punch? Is it something that I would recommend personally uh, to everybody out there who's looking for a good uh, B&E roll? So let's jump in. Okay, so obviously you guys have now seen the visuals. I mean, in terms of like 
um, what uh, this thing looks like. Hopefully the aperture on my camera was able to pick up um, some of the finer details of what I was looking at there. Um, there's a few key things that I'm probably going to point out um, about this. Uh, but before I do that, I do want to let you guys know that I am uh, what I would consider an amateur food uh, critic. Uh, I would consider myself someone who uh, understands flavor and understands the textures and understands the quality of food that's out there. I've lived on this earth long enough, uh, traveled enough places to understand that um, and spoken to enough people who uh, to a lot of the extent agree with what um, you know I'm putting out there but this is all personal preference right you may like it um, a certain way than somebody else does uh, you know for example when you go to a cafe they'll ask you hey do you want how do you want your eggs cooked with your you know eggs Benny or with you know eggs on toast do you want scrambled do you want boiled do you want it poached so, so take those things into consideration while we sit here and absolutely demolish this breakfast roll because I haven't eaten anything today. It's about midday-ish at the moment. So, um, yeah. And then straight after this, we're going to do a circuit workout. So, wish me luck. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm hoping that my other uh, camera here is enabling you guys to be able to see the roll um, itself. Um few key things that I wanted to point out here is number one the eggs um, actually let's let's start let's start on the positives positives is the bread is very soft very fresh uh, it smells delicious um, 10 out of 10 on that um, the bacon is fresh as well um, would I have liked it to be a bit more singed Yes, but that's, again, like, that's a personal preference thing, right? That's, I, I like it that way. Um, we've got some barbecue sauce in there as well. And, um, and that's about it. There's no onion or anything that I can see, uh, or anything else like that in there. So, yeah, uh, overall, um, it, it's good. It smells great. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Now, the thing with the eggs is that I wanted to bring up, and this is one of the things that, I think is a drawback for me personally is that the eggs are well cooked um yeah you probably can't see that but the eggs are well cooked um like extremely well cooked like yeah you know like cooked for 10 days type of style um and i can appreciate that some people would love it that way for me i prefer a runny egg um i think i don't know why but the flavor and the yolk mixed in with the bacon and the sauce um just makes for an incredible explosion of uh flavor in, in your mouth um when you're biting into it and, and this roll it looks delicious uh, it smells delicious i'm sure it's going to taste delicious so let's jump in and and um give it a taste test Okay. You can definitely taste the butter. Um, it's obviously the name. All right, real quick one from me. 99.6% of you guys that actually watch my videos aren't subscribed. That means 0.4% of you guys uh, that are actually watching right now are subscribed also if you want to be notified of the next video that i upload or videos 
uh, hit the bell um, and turn on all notifications so that you'll be notified of that. If you don't want to be notified of it, don't turn the fucking bell on because you're just going to get, you know, notified. Good news is with me is I probably only upload one or two videos. At the moment, it's one video a week, so you're only going to get notified once a week, right? Which is pretty good, and that's normally a Saturday when people are kind of chill. Uh, so, don't worry about it, man. I thought about this stuff. Five head of the place, so. Makes sense. Um, what do I think? I think it's good. I think it's good. I th I, I, I think that um, they've done a good job in trying to piece together a classic, right? But uh, the bacon and egg roll is a classic. Uh, Australia, New Zealand, I don't know about the rest of the world, but um, most of us, we love our B&E uh, rolls or just B&E on a plate without no bread. You know, it, it's just a staple. Um, not something that you want to eat every day, obviously, because of the, the high fat content. Um, it's probably going to end up with some, uh, severely clogged arteries, but, uh, fuck it, right? One life to live. Send it. Full send. Um, is it the best bacon and egg roll that I've had? Probably not, but it is good. Uh, I would put this well above McDonald's and uh, what you can get on their breakfast menu on any given day or anybody else for that matter that's a big conglomerate in this uh, fast food industry that's uh, thriving at the moment um, and okay just to repeat a couple of things so number one bread is very fresh amazing well done um, you guys, I don't know if you source your bread from somewhere or if you make it yourselves, but that is awesome. The bread is so good. I, I would buy the bread from you guys. Seriously. I would buy this bread from you. Fuck the roll. Just sell me the bread. Um, and I can make my own bacon egg roll in that way. We're not having this conversation. Um, the, the, the bacon is great. Very fresh. Um, very tasty. Very A lot of flavor there. I would have liked it to be a little bit more cooked, a little bit more crispy. Um, I like the fatty bits to be crispy that's just me maybe that's you maybe it's not you um, up to you um, again the eggs uh, I like them to be runny uh, uh, you know not too runny but just just enough so that when you squeeze down on the roll or you take a bite that explodes you know flavor again personal preference right these are all personal things to me that 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 I like um, other than that even the barbecue sauce is great man great great little addition there you know what I would have liked to see in this um is a little bit more salt and pepper not too much just a little bit uh, presumably you guys are thinking fuck it you can just add it at your house whatever you want um and the other thing that i would have liked to see in this as well is a bit of cheese that would have been really good that, that would have been great if we just see a little bit of cheese in there other than that guys i'm gonna i'm gonna give you guys a rating out of 10 um, and we're going to do more of these so that, you know, uh, we can start to rack up, um, some consistency across where are the best places to, um, get yourselves a burger or a breakfast roll in this case, uh, locally, because we really want to support these local guys. Okay. Do I recommend that you try this? Hell yes. I, re I recommend you, you drive to Butter Shack right now you get on your uber apps and uh you order one of these because it is worth it it is worth it okay um and the rating out of 10 that i'm going to give you guys is going to be a 6.5 out of 10 okay and that's just my personal opinion on this roll i've had a lot of rolls my time as you can see my fat cut i like to eat um so take my word for it, all right? Um, um, and this is a no shape or form in my bottom five or bottom 10. This has got to be somewhere in the midst of, I would say, 
top eight of roles that I've had. And that's considering all the shit that I've eaten in my lifetime. And I'm not going to tell you how old I am. Get fucked, cunt. So think about it for yourself. Get on the phone to Buttershack. Get your car keys. Get the bloody kids. Get in the car. Or whip out your smartphone, jump on the Uber app, Uber Eats, and order yourself a bacon and egg roll from the Butter Shack. This is Internet Lex, and I'm telling you to stay safe. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like that food review, please come and check out some of my other videos uh, on my channel such as my uh, playthrough on NBA 2K online and also uh, my most recent video which is uh, a scroll through of my TikTok feed here in Australia. Like, turn on the bell, subscribe. Out of pocket for that shit. Way out of pocket. What do you gain from Martin get it pop and bake 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 it pop and bake